Sorry, guys. Here's the uh, the antenna mast right behind me. Here's the uh, the hinge cross member um, right here. Well, the mounting bracket for the hinge, should I say. And this side is the uh, VHF UHF side. Um, got some LMR 400 going up there to it. Uh, just got my grounding rods in the other day. Still got to hook up the wires and all for that. But uh, let me get behind the camera and we'll uh, take a look up. Top of it. All right, maybe we can get a better shot from back here. There is the top of the uh, the mast. We'll zoom in here. Alrighty, so there's the top bracket there. Um, this side, right here. That is going to be for where I can hoist up my die poles and stuff whenever I get them up there. Um, I've got a 40 meter off center fed die pole. And also, uh, my friend that gave me uh, the, the radio, he actually uh, dropped off a uh, second antenna. Um, it's like a G, G5RV. It's a different type though. Um, once I get it up, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll show it off there some. And... Uh, Let's see here. The uh, antenna over here on the other side. Let's see if I can loosen this thing up. So I'll try to spin it. There we go. But uh, that antenna there, the uh, the vertical. Let's see where's where am I? At? Uh, right here. That one right there is a uh, tram. 1481 uh, VHF UHF and it's about uh, let's see the tip of it is right there it don't look very big up there but that's a 17 foot or 17 and a half foot tall antenna uh, it's got three sections and uh, I'll tell you what that's been a that's been a really good antenna uh, so far I've had it over a year now and uh, really no complaints um, I've got this saddle the saddle right there uh, that's just for the mass pipe to kind of rest in and uh, I'm gonna get a hose clamp probably and uh, put it maybe like right here because that right there the uh, that right there the cross members it's a uh, just two pieces of angle iron like two and a half three inch angle iron and uh, it's on both sides but um that's that's where I've got the hinge there I just drilled a piece of uh gosh what is it, like three quarter inch hole and uh let me uh get y'all in there for a shot of that thing There's the uh, little bit better view there of that. Um, just got a piece of pipe laying up there right now. I forgot I set that up there. All right, but uh, it's just a tractor implement pin that I've got in there. Um, it's got the D-ring. It's got like the uh, the D-ring style here. Let's see. Right there. It's got the uh, like a D-ring style. And uh, just got the hairpin clip on this side. Got a bushing out of a pipe. And I uh, got a piece of pipe here welded to that mass pipe. But uh, works pretty good. All right, let's see if we can, uh, let's see. We're gonna lay this, uh, we'll lay the mass down. I'll show you how that works. Uh, unwind it there. Hold it up to 
hold on to the rope. Just start gently letting it down there. Coax sometimes likes to uh, get over here. Here's the uh, base plate, um, got a nut on the bottom of the plate, a washer on the bottom of the plate, and uh, I've got the washer and I double nut at the top there, uh, just in case, and uh, right over there, hiding, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a uh, ground rod that I'm going to be tying a, uh, a grounding from the tower to, to that one or probably this one over here. I'll probably uh, put the ground for the tower uh, right there on that ground rod right there. And I uh, got this box here from uh, right there from uh, DX Engineering. There we go. A bit Got that entry panel from uh, DX Engineering. Um, it come with a, a grounding plate and uh, just got my coax run up through there into the shack onto the garage and uh, once I get my grounding situated out here to the ground rod I'll uh, put that plate in there, and I'll I'll probably run a ground wire. Um, let's see where where am I at here? Out of this side right here, run the ground rod or grounding wire down and over to that ground rod right there, and. Uh, then I'll ground the tower to that ground rod. I'll probably just back one of those nuts off right there and uh, wrap the wire around it and squish it between there and uh, probably just ground it that way. I don't know. Hopefully it don't make a ground loop or anything. Well, that's, uh, that's about it there. Uh, Hope you like the video and uh, overall cost of the uh, the build. I think I've got 13 ba 80 pound bags of quickcrete in the foundation. Um, a friend of mine, a fellow ham, gave me the bolts for the uh, for the anchor bolts and the nuts there. Um, my father-in-law has this uh, square tube uh, that's a parking light pole, 25 foot tall parking light pole and uh, uh, one of the local well repairmen, they have all these uh, water pipes, and that's all that uh, uh, antenna, the VHF, UHF mast, the tilt over mast, it's just a water pipe, just a galvanized uh, uh, three and a three quarter inch. There's the, there's the end of it, a uh, piece of it I've cut off, but, uh, got that from him and 
a lot of the the other metal that I use to weld like this kind of stuff on and uh, the the top plate that all all that stuff I got at a yard sale it was or an estate sale they wanted to get rid of the metal I got a whole pile of metal back here behind the shop uh, got it all for ten dollars so uh, you don't have to go out and buy a fifteen hundred dollar mast or a tower or whatever if you want one good um just not in my budget to spend that kind of money on something right now maybe later on down the road i can put something back here um that i i can figure out you know maybe i could put a tower back here and uh use this pole as like a like a winch post or something i guess you'd say but uh as always thanks for watching and um I hope this helps somebody out. I hope you like this build. Um, got some more ham radio stuff lined up uh, project-wise. I might be working with another uh, fellow ham that lives nearby and doing some uh, projects like uh, go bags, some antenna builds. Um, might do some just simple videos. I'm a general class uh, ham radio operator and uh, I'm no professional by any means. But uh, just getting into it, I've had my license a little over a year now. Um, really fun hobby for me. And uh, I like it because you can do a lot of stuff on your own. And you can do stuff from your house, you know. You don't have to, like, go out. And It is pretty expensive, but you can get into the hobby fairly cheap. And uh, pretty cool community. And uh, you always got that emergency communications and uh, that was a big thing for me like learning how to operate radios learning how everything operates and uh, having the equipment on hand if anything was to ever happen and then you can turn around and I mean you can use that equipment that you have the radio stuff to help other people in times of crisis and uh, it's, it's fun I do a lot of parks on the air uh, hunting can't really get out to any parks uh, especially during the summertime with my my son that's got epilepsy uh he gets too hot and he'll start having seizures you know and uh he's almost two years seizure free now so uh praise god for that that's for sure and uh well i'm just rambling now and uh better better go on and uh get in the house and uh uh, I, the kids are up now, so uh, I'm going to head back in and get some breakfast made for them and everything. And uh, we'll holler at y'all later. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good one.